Ciao. Hello my Aries friends, this is Guiding Halo and this is a message from Spirit and what they would like you to know for September 8th to the 15th. I hope you're all doing well. I hope this message finds you happy and content and living a life of gratitude and abundance. If it does not, I pray all of those things for you. I pray ease and I pray peace into your life. Let's see what the Divine would like you to know what Spirit has for you. We have the magician. You can do anything. Take charge of your life. You can manifest what you need to be a success. So if you're doubting yourself or you're at the beginning phases of a new stage in your life. Whoa, I'm dropping things here. You might feel like life's just a little bit too much to handle right now. Not sure you can get a firm grasp on anything. You have everything in your arsenal to create whatever it is you seek and to start this new trajectory in your life. New phase of manifesting, my friends. So we have the King of Pentacles. Somebody could be dealing with Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Someone who's made their money very stable. There could be a wish granted where this is concerned. Involving equal reciprocity. Possibly a gift of money, time, or effort. Or someone teaching you the family business. Or passing down a company to you or something balance whatever is coming from this king of pentacles is going to bring balance to your emotions wow the wheel of fortune doth spin in your favor beautiful my aries friends so a new phase of manifesting i'd say so tell me about this wheel of fortune please give me more info about this wheel of fortune what the sun card a very happy outcome wow hmm. i'm so happy for you guys wow look at that so beautiful oh and the moon there's something going on right now that's going to come to fruition during next eclipse season we got the sun and the moon here next sun cycle starts uh i think it's no oh, geez okay i'm not taking all these cards and put them back sorry there's like too many i needed one more next sun cycle starts on september 23rd and the next moon cycle starts on september 15th so between september 15th and september 23rd i'd be saying <laughs> more more specifically so interesting i'm saying that because uh the this moon card which i just said between the 15th i think it's on the 14th that moon happens in pisces between then and it's in virgo season the wheel of fortune is going to spin in your favor my aries friends 10 15 between the 18th of september and the 21st something is going to happen for you Wheel of Fortune is going to spin in your favor, and it is going to bring a very, very happy outcome. Now, I'm usually a little nervous about giving time dates, but I got that very specifically, so it might not be for everybody, but it's definitely for someone out there. For certain. This one. Okay. So we have balance coming to a situation by way of the wheel of fortune spinning in your favor. Divine timing is something that has to do with a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. And it's going to make you want to go inward, my Aries friends, and decide if this is even believable. I'm getting deciding if uh, which way to go from here now that, now that divine timing has peaked itself in this whatever situation has happened 
Perhaps there's going to be clarity, a lot of clarity on something that happened around the eclipse in, in uh, July, the beginning of July, if you guys can think back to what was going on then for you. All right, so I have the sun in my eyes right now. I can barely see a thing. It's so bright. Oh, but it's so warm. You guys are going to have the sun in your eyes. Hell yeah, you are. And it's all via a King of Pentacles bringing absolute happiness, family, bliss. And it, something may have happened in Leo season for you as well. But there's things going on behind the scenes you're not aware of yet because this is about divine timing and it's all coming to fruition and it's all going to come to fruition soon. Very soon, within the next 30 days. This Wheel of Fortune is going to bring financial stability. This Wheel of Fortune could be bringing someone a husband. I'm getting that someone might sit there and say, you're kidding me, right? What am I not seeing here? Like, this is a joke. But you've manifested this. You've manifested this. You have everything in your arsenal to manifest this. I think it's going to be like, well, holy beep. Okay, I need a minute. I just need a minute. Just let me breathe. I need a minute. It's almost what I'm getting for somebody here. That's how exactly how you're going to feel. Because you start the beginning phases of manifestation and then bam, you're hit with this. This is like past the beginning phases of manifestation. Perhaps you've sent these rockets of desire out to the universe a long time ago, possibly even since you were a child. And now all of a sudden something is about to manifest a beauty that that perhaps has been long forgotten even. So it seems like it's out of the clear blue, but the divine has been working on this all of this time. And it's all been about divine timing. It's all been about your soul on a trajectory of learning. It's about the stability that needed to come into your life to bring this beauty your way. But you are still confused by it. You're, you're uncertain. Do you feel like there's secrets going on or not sure or not feeling stable in your emotion? But it, you're incredibly happy. But I just feel like you're shell-shocked. Somebody here in this circumstance, in this situation, for my Aries friends, is damn so shell-shocked over this whole thing. You could have a Virgo involved as well. Let's read this card here. Dear you, there is always more than one side to any argument, two sides if not more, to every story and hundreds of ways to be right, be different, be at odds, and so on. Today we suggest that instead of looking for differences, you find a meeting place of agreement and approach this experience with understanding and compassion. Seek common ground to understand how another person thinks or how an alternate plan might be laid. Stay out of judgment too. Observe, discern, but accept that others have different stories, experiences and journeys, and some people might refuse to remain open to another point of view. No matter what, you've been presented with a great opportunity to explore a new way of doing things. Once common ground is reached, you're attracting people and situations that enrich your life and bring you wonderful things to learn. We love you so much. Have faith and hope because there's something new. I'm sorry. Have faith and hope because there's something positive and new on the horizon that you can't see yet. Yeah, you can't see it coming. This is going to shell shock whoever this is. The High Lady of Love and Compassion, Reverence, Kindness and Consideration. It's about giving people their just due. It's about coming at people with compassion and understanding as you would love to have people come at you with compassion and understanding. So you give there, for so you shall reap. 
I'm going to read this from the book. If you all don't like that, you can go ahead and click off. And for those who would like to hear what this has to say, then let's go ahead and start. Card number one, the beginning of something completely new that I believe you've given up all hope on or totally forgotten about entirely. When the High Lady of Love and Compassion chooses to be your ally, she brings you a deep and meaningful message. She reminds you that only love is real. It is the sole, unconditional, and true power behind all means of manifesting out of the unseen into the material. Love's great creative power is ignited by the conscious action of compassion, generosity of heart, reverence, respect, and empathy for all living things bring you profound power to live a life of happiness and contentment. Love, compassion, and kindness to all must be the impulse behind your thoughts, feelings, and actions when your interaction is to create a prosperous and abundant life. Unconditional love will be returned tenfold. The High Lady also reminds you that when she chooses to be your ally, she, she brings you evidence that you're loved. All manner of synchronicity is aligned in your favor. If your question refers to a relationship, you're required to think to, of the other person and inquire what is in his or highest good give selflessly without asking for or expecting anything in return and let go what is yours will come to you kindness always returns somehow you will surely receive that which you give in more ways than you can imagine when the high lady of love and compassion appears as your challenger she gently reminds you to snap out of self-centeredness the ego has set a sneaky trap for you you may have forgotten that to create an abundant life, you must be conscious of how your choices impact those around you. Are you trying to manipulate others to get what you want without consideration for them? Is it possible that your good intentions are about helping too much, enabling another person to remain the same and preventing his or her growth? Sometimes it's better to let others hit bottom with their own suffering rather than trying to make it easier for them. Sometimes you need to be cruel to be kind be conscious that you aren't alone in this world. Begin to have, or sorry, begin to behave as if God is all life in every person matters. Remember that the living world is a sacred community and you're a magical and important part of it, but you're not the only one who counts. The High Lady of Love and Compassion is waiting to guide you and be your friend and ally. Think first of others and she will orchestrate your ultimate success. This is beautiful, my friends. I would say that you have been doing that, thinking first of others, because your ultimate success here is about to hit you square on, and you don't even see it coming. You don't even see it coming. You're attracting people and situations that enrich your life and bring you wonderful things to learn. This is so beautiful to whoever this is for. I'm telling you, you're gonna have an amazing end of September. Blessings to you. Spirits got you. You got you. Heck, everybody got you. <laughs> I'm just saying. All right, I'll talk to you guys again later. Blessings.